S2000 merch drop just hit the site. This is all limited edition. We have an awesome template plate. We have a sticker with an initial Lee style design on it. And it is also on the back of the t-shirt. Super limited run guys. If you want to check it out, head over to the site, pick up some merch. Let's get into today's video. Today is going to be so much fun. We just got in our Dry Ice Energy Champ Varia. We've been wanting one of these for so long, we finally have one. Eric and Jason from Chicago Auto Pros are with us today to show us everything there is to know about this machine and how to run it. These machines are amazing and are capable of so much. Our S2000 is going to transform with this blaster and this thing is going to end up looking amazing, so let's get to it. You ever have to worry about it freezing rubber or plastic so and rubber, break, it breaking? Rubber and plastic, no. If there's foam behind it, so we mentioned the sound deadening that yeah. you removed, it was kind of caked up and kind of grimy. If you freeze the foam behind the substrate and you start shooting pellets at it, the actual hit of the pellet can right. break the foam behind the fabric. And like my thing for people, it's going from used and abused to best car on the lot or at the show. Yeah. Because you're not gonna get in the nooks and the crannies, I get made fun of for that term all the time, but you can't clean in those spaces. You just can't, yeah. right? So this just takes it to that next level. I wanna thank Ridge for sponsoring today's video and making it super easy to find a Father's Day gift for my dad. I've been a user of the Ridge well before they were sponsoring our channel and I am thoroughly happy with my wallet. I used to actually carry my shop key underneath the money clip here. Recently Ridge launched this new aluminum coin tray. It fits inside the compact Ridge wallet and you can even store a key in it. I'm a big front pocket carry guy so uh, Ridge wallet was really important for me because I can actually carry all of my stuff very compact in my front pocket. If you carry a lot of keys, which some people do, Ridge also has a really cool key case it's called. And what this allows you to do is carry multiple keys and access them all at one time. And what's really cool is like the wallets, the key cases have 30 different colors that you can get them in. And all you car guys out there will be happy to know that they've got carbon fiber as well as burnt titanium, which are two of my favorite finishes on these wallets and key cases. So if you guys are in the market for something for dad for Father's Day, or you just wanna up your wallet game like I did, head on over to ridge.com backslash throttle, and you're gonna receive up to 40% off until June 15th. So don't hesitate guys. Huge shout out to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. So there's a basically a support beam up here. We just did 50% of it. Um, it's pretty interesting to see, you know, you probably could towel this off with some solvents, uh, but it was gonna take much longer to do and probably not gonna get a good result in here where there's like tight areas where you're not gonna be able to get a rag or maybe a brush in there. It's really simple. It really took me two seconds to clean that up and it looks awesome. So the guys just tossed on a basically a fan style. How, how do you call this? Fan? Flat, a, flat tip. Uh, a flat, flat tip. A flat nozzle. Flat tip nozzle versus the round tip nozzle, which is what we were using previously. Dry stuff right there. I feel like it would do really well on the binding. It does very well on the because binding. Because it's so short and tight. That's why it loves Alcatara. Yeah, like <laughs> that makes sense. Too. So yeah, try to do the embroidery. Just yeah, keep it back and freeze it and then come back at a lower angle. Oh, so when, 
year is the car? 06. Oh, oh, six. Six. And right, I just so. paid uh, $250 for new mats. So, like, if you could bring these back to 80%, <laughs> that's it. Save 250 bucks. Yep. So Mickey just had some fun with the passenger side floor mat. Uh, he got it looking fairly close to brand new. Uh, now I get to have some fun with the driver's mat, which is a little bit further gone. And we're gonna see how much dirt we can freeze and lift off of this carpet. And I don't have to worry about the embroidery. He did. That still looks pretty good. You know, we're just gonna come in here a little bit. We're not gonna soak it. We're just gonna use a little bit of the cleaner. Cause remember, if it gets super wet, it's gonna freeze it. So we're kind of going backwards. But again, sometimes you just need a little bit of cleaner to help break the bond. Now again, cause you're going a little slow. You see your deep freeze. Oh yeah. So if this was foam, you guys just want to be careful. It's like a foam seat, a door card, because if that foam freezes like that, you'll shoot little uh, pellet divots in okay. them. So you can see already, it's just a little bit lighter. Yeah. It's just it's incre incremental. That's but I mean, nice. this was like a hammered, unsellable mat. Yeah. And when you're done, that's heck. And it's that oh. filthy ass dirty. All right, we've all had a go at this thing. This is how it started out. This is me with a little bit of degreaser. This is Quinn with a lot of degreaser and a lot of uh, a lot more time spent over it. And it just, you can see gradually it got better and better the more we had time with the dry ice. Even on carpets, and they're dry too. There's no like residual water after this cleaning process. This is an old shock that we're not gonna be using again, but we're just gonna play around with it and see what it does. protected its entire life by the yeah. oil. Wow. So that's not oxidized. Where this tech came from was plastic mold injection and all other manufacturing would add a clean oily molds without adding contaminants or cleaners. Because the cleaners could get in the plastic or and become poisonous. Yeah. Yeah. So very, again, very good to show the aluminum versus not, being oxidized. It at all yep. yeah. all right, we're gonna yeah. go on the rear wheel well right now and this is gonna be a good spot to start and we'll work our way out. This should go from this grimy uh, kind of black coating to what we're seeing under here, which is closer to the silver body paint. So all day yesterday, uh, Jason and Eric from Chicago Auto Pros came down and were showing us how to use our new dry ice energy machine. And we got the car pretty much completely cleaned up. Spent most of the day yesterday just kind of learning the limits of the machine and what it can yeah. do and how it operates and functions. So it's not like a restore your 15 year old car to brand new, it just kind of it has, its, it. It has its limits and we were trying to experiment and find them. Yeah. So things like rust, it won't take off the rust. So it's just gonna clean everything, clean the dirt, clean the road grime all that stuff off, but it won't like fix that. And just kind of learning the ins and outs, like uh, super wet oils it doesn't like and really dry things it does like. So mm. just kind of spent yesterday learning the limits and having fun with it. And now that we have it and it's ours, you guys are gonna be seeing it dry as well a lot more things in here. Yeah. We were doing it on the engine, which turned out really know, nice. So, so good. It's a lot of fun. So. We're finished with the Dryas Blast, so huge thank you to Dryas Energy for this piece of equipment. We absolutely love it, and we're loving working with it and using it. So, what do you got now? 
Uh, next step, we're gonna be reinstalling the stock suspension, and this thing is gonna go out to paint. And when it comes back, we're gonna throw everything we got at it. All right, well, today's D-Day. This car is heading off Tory Pines Collision for its respray and to get all the fiberglass parts painted as well. Um, so before we load it on the trailer, we're gonna remove some of the stuff for the body shop so they don't have to fuss with it and we don't have to worry about anything getting lost. So we're gonna remove the third brake light, the tail lights, the headlights, uh, the spoon mirrors are gonna come off so that they don't have to pull the door cards. Quinn, Ricky, and myself are gonna do trim it real quick um, and then they're gonna do the rest of it over there. Right, we just went ahead and cut into the uh, APR wing box because we want to drill these holes before the car goes off the paint so that the holes get painted. Uh, I'm going to have any raw metal exposed underneath these. So these are the base plates for the wing. They come with really nice rubber gaskets and essentially these sit here like so and distribute the weight of the downforce across the back of the car, just what we want. Um, this is not a chassis mount, this is just a trunk mount wing. And being that this isn't gonna be any crazy level time attack car or anything like that, this is an adequate mounting solution for this wing. So I just removed the wing, and as you can see, all the holes are still in there. That way, all the paint gets all up in here. We get no rust in the future. Uh, from here, we are gonna go to the trailer, and then from here to Torrey Pines, and yeah, off the paint. This car is light, bro. Ricky strong, dude. Car is finally here at Tory Pines Collision, and my man right here is gonna take care of it.
are on our way to pick up the S2000. It just got painted. I mean, it's painted, yeah. It's painted. The good thing is that Tory Pine Collusion is literally down the street from us. So this so is gonna be a very short drive, just as short as will, and we are gonna pick up our, my bad dude, and we are gonna pick up, <laughs> <laughs> and we are my gonna, man has like a quarter of an inch on me and he's talking on me. <laughs> In height, he has quarter of an inch of height. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna bring it back home, and we are gonna get to work on it. <laughs> How are you? Up, man? How are you, bro? Look good. Look great, dude. Really, really good. Ooh. Yeah, don't touch it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. It's a special clear, but it takes like 48 hours to really mat up. Okay. So. Oh, nice. All right, well, <laughs> yeah. you drive, we push. All right, we're tired. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> you could have easily bring the trailer in and I didn't listen. Yeah, no, you just created more work for us, Good. so that was Thank great. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. We love you, bro. Always a pleasure, brother. Great, great work. You turned this thing around in just days, which is amazing. Got now you. we get to go back to the shop and finish the build. Right. Ooh! Okay. Yeah! yeah. Right. That looks way better. Whoa, what happened here? Did the, oh. door, cr the door crushed it? Nikki's not gonna be happy about that. Yeah, I probably yeah. just wanted the door when we got Nikki's oh, yeah. so it's not like. That bumper looks so good in the body color. These fender vents turned out really nice. Looks like GT3 RS. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. I was skeptical wow. about those too at first. So the other thing I notice is everything fits really well. Oh, and nothing's yeah. even dialed, right? But yeah, I don't think all the clips are yeah. really good yet. It looks way better. The fender vents turned out amazing. The bumper came together, but now that it's painted, yeah, it, looks it looks way better. It looks way better. Someone's getting hooked up. Fresh motor, fresh paint. We didn't just paint the bumpers. We didn't just paint the fender garnishes. Paint the whole car. It's fresh paint, baby. Yeah, we dry ice blasted everything. Is, yeah, I think it's this is gonna be like one of the like, hardest we've seen. It's like a brand yeah. new car, basically. Yeah, it is. I would, I would say. Oh, the rear bumper is definitely stuff. Yeah. very different style than most people go with. Mm -hmm. like, most people go with the Voltex kit on this or Jay's Racing, and like. As always, we try to do stuff differently. I'm excited about this. I think it's going to have a really unique S2000 look with the fender vents, the rear bumper. And we've got a bunch of other parts to put on it. So I'm just trying to picture it all in my head. Holy sh! Holy sh! That looks dope. I like that. Oh! Doctor! You guys like it? All right, well, the S2000 is back at throttle. I think it turned out really good. Oh, it looks amazing, it looks great. It looks almost like an OEM thing. So that's gonna end today's video. We've got a lot of work to do now. We do. The good news is, is everything for this yeah. car is sitting right there on the shelf. So it's gonna come together quick. If you guys haven't already, and you're into this S2000 project, head on over to throttle.com. Every dollar you spend on car parts or merchandise or anything on the site, frankly, is gonna be an entry to win this amazing S2000 when it's all finished up. Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave us some comments down below. We already have all the parts here for this build, but we would like to hear what you guys think about it. So leave us those comments uh, and we'll see you in the next one.